Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll talk about setting the speed value on your new printer. We'll hit print settings and then let's go ahead and hit print mode. And you'll see we have a couple options here. What we're worried about now is production line speed in meters per minute. Now, if you don't know how fast your production line is moving, I recommend purchasing a, an inexpensive tachometer or something that will allow you to measure the speed because getting this accurate is important for making sure that the, in, the delay is also accurate and that the print is the best quality possible. So you'll see here that I actually used a small uh, tachometer um, to get the speed for my conveyor because my conveyor doesn't display the speed digitally. Um, so you'll see there that we're sitting somewhere around 17 um, uh, meters a minute. And uh, I've already set that to that value here for you. Now it's important, um, and I'm going to give you some examples of what it looks like when we have those values set incorrectly. Um, but you can see from the video that we run a 17 meter per minute print with a delay value of 120 millimeters. Now this, the reason this is important, because in previous videos I've talked about are talked about the relationship between speed and delay. And you will find that if your speed value is not accurate, that your delay value will also be, um, can be quite strange, quite large um, and hard to set. So getting the accurate speed makes everything significantly easier for you. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we um, set the speed value to five. Now, I know from running tests before this video that by setting that speed value to five, in order for me to get the print in the same spot as it was before at the correct speed, I had to lower my delay significantly. You'll see from 120 to just 25. And this is what I mean by that relationship between the two. So you go ahead and you see this next print and it's uh, a much larger print um, than before, um, stretched out, right? It's, uh, it's too big. Um, and I needed that delay value because of that reason. Now, the next thing we can go ahead and we'll set a speed value of 75. So we're gonna have it printing much too fast. And now, as before, I know from running tests before this video that in order to get the correct um, placement, I had to take this number all the way to 600. And so you'll see from this from the next clip that the print is, is condensed. Um, it's not proportionate. And um, it just it takes a long time to um, go through that trial and error and figure out that you have to be at a 600 and your uh, your offset or your delay value. Um, so making sure that speed value is accurate is probably one of the two or three most important things you can do for your printer. Um, and, and the way, so let me show you the way you're going to ensure that. I guess I should have covered that. Um, so when you create your file, you'll see you have a ruler here. And so just keep a note at how, um, how long that message is supposed to be here. And what you print on your package should be the same size. Now, if you've actually measured the speed, like I said, with the tachometer or some other device you might, measuring device you may use, this is probably not necessary for you um, because it will be this, the correct size. Um, Anyway, but this is where you will find that information is if you don't have anything to measure your speed, the way you're going to set it is by just making sure that the size here matches the size you're printing. And if it does, then you're accurate. Thank you for watching our video.